Hey everyone, just wanted to give you a quick preview of a project I'm working on. I believe I mentioned this one in passing when I was doing an asset review a week or so ago, but not many people watched that video, so I figured I'd do a standalone of this. So this is essentially a combination of two other games. One would be the basic trap-based mechanics of a game like Orcs Must Die, but in an environment kind of like Resident Evil, although not meant to be atmospheric or survival horror, just that kind of framing, I guess. So the framing of Resident Evil with the gameplay of Orcs Must Die. For me, one of the weaknesses to Orcs Must Die is the fact that it's just castle, castle, castle. It feels like, at least to me, there's no progression. It's just like, okay, here's the new environment have at it the idea is that i'd like to have this all tied together with a meaningful narrative rather than the kind of whimsy that's in uh, arcs must die and again nothing wrong with that i played you know i bought and played those games but looking to try to make something a little bit different and i think that will be one of the deciding factors as to whether or not this ever becomes a complete game if i it's if i feel i can add enough to this uh this subgenre if you will um, as I said, I really have two other games in mind when I'm trying to make this, so that means that I'm already not being that original. I'm not being that uh, innovative to begin with, so it's just whether or not I can actually bring enough to this to make it its own thing. That, that will be one of the determinants if I actually complete this. So the idea is that, like I said, I want there to be this clear progression from where you start to where you're trying to get to to where you know you finish. And so you're going to have, essentially, it's meant to be like a, a tech campus kind of situation where uh, first you have to approach the facility. So the first battle will be on the street. Second battle will be in the parking lot. So there's clear progression of you approaching the facility. And then starting with the third area, you'll be inside the facility. And then just like a tech campus, there'll be like a residential area. There'll be an infirmary. And then obviously there's, there's the evil experimental part where bad things happen, which basically caused the story to begin. So that's the basic framework of it. So let's actually play this out. Now, unlike Orcs Must Die or uh, Resident Evil for that matter, this will be map based. So what's going to happen is you'll start here, and then every time you beat an area, you will be returned to the map, and you decide where you want to go. You can only go to adjacent areas. So in other words, you can't just start from here and jump to here. Clearly, you have to unlock each area in between there. So what happens is that I give you a preview here. So if you've unlocked an area or you've beaten an area, you can see the preview. So this is the first area, so you can see you're out on the street. This then gets unlocked, and you can see you're now in the parking lot. You can barely see the building in the distance. And then once you beat that, that will unlock this area. Now you've actually entered the building. You're in the reception area. And when I run this area in a minute, you'll see that it actually travels left and right. And correspondingly, you can go up or down, which would be the left or right, uh, respectively. And then, so here you would have a little bit of repeat because I will try to make the areas look at least a little bit different, but if it's just meant to be a hallway, um, you can only do so much of that. So there would be a little bit of repetition, but then you'd get to somewhere distinct, like this would be an office area. So you'd have computers and desks and things like that. Uh, but down here, you'd have an entirely different area where you have like a storage area. So there'll be like crates, maybe even like pallet jacks and forklifts and things like that. Um, I think I might have mentioned already, maybe you'll have like an alleyway that you can get into. Maybe on the roof, there'll be a helipad. So again, it's like the Orcs Must Die trap mechanics, but in a, a Resident Evil framework. So whether or not I can make that work, I don't know. And, and that's the big question. And so certainly uh, if you want to, um, if you want to leave a comment and let me know what you think, uh, Certainly, that is uh, much appreciated. So I'll just uh, click in so I can show you a few things. So as you can see, as I said, it's grid-based. And um, in the upper left corner, you see the name of the trap. So as I hit the numbers on the keyboard, it'll show you the name of the trap that you've selected. There will eventually be like, I don't know, maybe a dozen or so traps. But each trap will have upgrades. That way, you can make them distinctive. I'm thinking of maybe letting you have duplicates of traps. That way, you can have a spike trap that does you know, bleed damage in a spike trap that does maybe a stun or something. So that way you can highly customize what you've got in your kit. 
and this are the resources that automatically generate which are needed to make the traps whenever you place a trap you'll see that number goes down also want to point out the reason why this one looks different and more detailed is the company that made these traps just released an update and it i say it's an update but it's a whole new package and what it is is as you can see rather than having this kind of toy play school look to them they've added this texture so there's it looks metallic um and obviously they also added like a, a shader to make it look like that as well too so the texture the shader that kind of thing okay so let's just click on a couple more of these now that animation where you saw them coming up over the hill uh, that same animation uh, is currently applied to all the areas, so it doesn't look right. You're going to see people just like walking through walls. Obviously, in the final version, they won't do that. They'll either come down the hallways or maybe there'll be a hole in the floor that they climb out of. We'll do something like that so it makes sense. Or maybe it'll kind of just like terminate into darkness so you can't see where they're coming from. I don't want to use too much darkness. I kind of want kind of clean, clear visuals, but we'll see because this is very early. So again, if you point at the area in the map, we'll do this. You can see that you're in the parking lot now. And you'll say they're going to walk through the stairs because, like I said, they're using that same animation. But since you're in a new area, you're getting new enemies. So the other ones were like experimental enemies that had come out of the facility. Here are the um, security guards that have been compromised. And again, it's the same mechanisms as far as placing traps. And what there'll be something like um, if maybe it would be a very small number, like if more than three enemies escape, you lose something like that. Because in Orcs Must Die, there's a rift you're protecting. Well, there's really no objective that you're protecting in this. So I'll have to come up with an arbitrary metric as to what constitutes a failure. Obviously, I don't want just one escaping being a failure but you also need to set some kind of limit so maybe you have like a sniper backup or something and so if an enemy goes off the screen a sniper shot is expended but your sniper only has three shots or four shots or five shots and then that way it's not uh, unforgiving but there is still also a limitation and then we'll just do one more of these so you click here and then you're inside the facility now like i said there's a hallway going left and right. So rather than just coming out of the walls and floor like that, they're actually going to walk down this way and then come towards you. I just haven't bothered yet because I don't know what the exact uh, layout the facility might be. I might change it so maybe you can go forward as well. And then these guys can just be coming down the corridor. So that would work as well. Like I said, you could just have it terminate in darkness. And speaking of terminating into darkness, I'll show you one of these end ones. So let's look at this office. And obviously, this is still a work in progress because I have desks, but there's no chairs. So I, I do have chair packets that I've purchased, so I can add those assets. Uh, so unless these are all meant to be standing desks, um, this doesn't look right because there are no chairs. So I'm going to add chairs and things like that. And I also have to decide, do I want there to be like tables in the middle here? And so it like separates them into to two separate rows, two separate columns that kind of thing so again it's very very early and like i said this kind of just terminates into darkness um, because since it's a dead end so those are the basics um, as far as how much the map you have to complete some of it will be optional because if since this is the start and i think this will probably be the finish or maybe i'll have it split off here you know to go from one end to the other you're only talking depending which one you're talking about maybe 15 16 17 blocks so the idea is these other areas would be optional for a couple of reasons a you don't know where to go so obviously there has to be some wrong turns but i also want to reward people for exploring so there'll be things like maybe up here will be an additional bonus trap if you come up here you unlock a new trap you know, you come up here and you find an object that lets you get to the final area. So maybe it'll be the typical kind of key lock mechanism where you have to go certain places to get keys to unlock other things. So a combination of both, combination of certain things that are optional and certain things that are required so it's not too linear. So we'll see if I can actually make this into anything. Again, if you have anything you want to add to this, any ideas, what your thoughts, evaluations, feel free to let me know. This is just, like I said, a yet another project that I've thought of. I think I am too easily influenced by what I'm playing. 
and I say, oh, gee, I could, you know, I'd like to take a stab at that. And then once I stop playing the game, I kind of lose interest in the project. So I think that might be part of my problem as well. So I think that's about it for now. I don't want to drag out this video as, again, you know, feel free to leave your comments and uh, any ideas, any suggestions, what you think of this. And I hope you found this interesting and please do enjoy the rest of your day.